hey everybody, it's Phil again from uh, Non-Standard Music Japan and I'm gonna do another little thing about this FCB 1010 MIDI controller and again I'm gonna program but so last time I went over this thing and saying how you could use it to control effects in Ableton Live turn things on and off and that worked great um, but then you probably tried to use it to control something like the looper and you found out oh no it doesn't work and that's because don't ask me why the looper doesn't like to use control changes for the buttons in the looper. I found that you had to use MIDI notes. Makes no sense, that's just the way it is. So what we're gonna do is program the FCB to send out notes instead of controls. So we're gonna go, I'm not gonna start from scratch, go back to the other video to see how to reset your uh, FCB 1010 to factory if you want. I'm just going to turn mine on. So I'm going to, I, I, I set bank uh, zero, zero to be the, pro, the control changes, if you remember from last time. This time I'm going to go to bank, uh, I've probably done some stuff in here to be honest. So I'm going to just go up to bank five and use bank five as my looper control bank. And that's, you know, you, you can switch between the two, you know, so you, you can use the effects bank and then go up to the looper bank and back and forth all during a single Ableton Live session. So let's, can, let's program this baby. So first thing we need to do is to go into, uh, well, choose your bank, of course, that's the first thing. Second thing is now we want to say, look, uh, we want to start programming. Let's start with button number one. And uh, what I want to do is hold down the down button until it goes in kind of into the flashing for next to the switches up here. It's flashing. And that means you want to program. And let's say yes up to say we want to program. Now, if you've done a factory reset or you haven't done this bank before or something, you're gonna have three lights lit. And that's gonna be light number one and eight and nine. And just to recap what I said last time, one, two, three, four, and five are program changes. So, and if something is lit in this programming mode or editing mode, what it means is you wanna use that at the time you press this switch. So you can send up to five program changes from one single foot switch, but we don't want to send any. So we're going to hold down number one until the light goes out. Now six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, as it actually says on, on here, control, uh, if six is lit, you're programming control value one. If seven is lit, control value two, the expression pedals and note. Now I'm going to leave the expression pedals. You can turn them off if you like. That means the expression pedals will do nothing uh, when this foot switch is activated, which is interesting. Now what the hell? Let's turn those off too. And we're gonna, so there's nothing lit right now. We're gonna hold down 10 and it's solid and we're gonna hit it again and it's flashing and that means we want to add a note value to this switch, switch number one. So let's hit up and say let's do it. And now we choose our MIDI note value. Because we're using this simply to control the looper, the note value means nothing to us. And so we're just gonna leave it as zero, zero. And I'm gonna do zero, 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 one, zero, two, zero, three, zero, four, zero, five, zero, six, zero, seven, zero, eight, and zero, nine as my note values. So flying, it's flashing, zero, zero, yes, sir. I want that one. Everything's set. We hold down the down button and bada bing. When you press button number one now, it is going to send out a MIDI note like you're hitting the keyboard on this key, C. It's gonna send that out when you hit number one. And I know what you're thinking, Phil, wouldn't this be awesome to use like as a bass pedals? 
And yes, it would be. Maybe we'll do that in another video. So I'm going to put the video into super fast mode and I'm going to program the rest of these MIDI notes for, for you and then come back. Okay, we're on the last one. We're gonna program switch number 10 to send out MIDI node 09. So we select number 10, hold down the down until we get into this switch one, switch two flashing mode. Say, yes, sir, I would like to edit this thing. Turn off the program change, turn off the expression pedals, turn on MIDI note and now hit it once to say that's actually the thing we're editing right now. Hit up to, to uh, say yes, we're editing. S enter the MIDI note value, hit up again to say okay, and hold down down. And there we go. I've programmed this bank five now to send out MIDI notes. And now we're gonna go back to my Room of Doom studio <laughs> And I'm going to plug this thing into Ableton and you'll see me controlling the looper. Talk to you soon. Okay, we should now be seeing my screen, um, Ableton screen. I've just created a new live set and I'm going to set this up for the looper. I'm going to delete these two MIDI channels. I don't need them. The first audio, I'm just going to call this Forget Me and I want you to forget about it. Yeah, this is what I'm going to need to kind of record um, the audio of my performance. Now, I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but I'm new to Ableton. Not new to uh, recording, but uh, new to Ableton. Anyway, so forget about me. So we've got an, an instrument channel here, cleverly called instrument. Uh, my input is actually on instrument number two. Uh, for fun, I'm going to chuck a chorus and a simple delay on here, just so we get some kind of uh, some kind of echo that you can't hear right now because I'm not recording. And then we're going to create another audio track, and we'll call this one the Looper. And unbelievably, I'm going to drag in a Looper to that. Because the whole point of this is demonstrating the loop or the FCB. But the one thing we do need is to change the input to uh, the instrument channel. And we need to turn on the input uh, monitor. And I change the input output of the loopers to be never so that we're only hearing the looper. We're not hearing the... Um, the original source and I also set the quantization to be none for reasons that we're gonna I'm gonna talk about in a second but let's do the MIDI mapping which is the whole reason we're here so let's turn on MIDI and first we're going to map the multi-purpose multi-purpose function can whatever it is you know button there to the first number one and then we're going to do play as number two stop as number three. Oops, what happened? Stop as number three, there we go. Undo as number four. And then I like to set the clear to be number 10 so I don't hit it by accident. And that's it, that's the MIDI looping. Now, I'm gonna start recording the audio using this Forget Me channel. And let's just see that it actually is yeah, getting information and the problem is that that means that the looper won't be able to properly set uh, the song tempo 
So, say la vie, this is just a demo. If you don't have a track like this, then you could use a looper to get tempo if that's what you're into. But I'm going to start recording. Um, and, uh, and then we'll see the looper come on and off with any hope. So, I just play something, get into it, and then turn the looper on when I'm ready. And so the looper is gone. There we go. It's, it's, it's simple. It's amazing. I'm going to make such a long video to do something so simple. But there we have the looper. It's now in the overdub mode. If I wanted to overdub something. And I can use that multi-purpose button to switch into play mode. So maybe now I would, you know, not be recording um, what I'm playing. I'm just playing over top here. And you can do all the fun stuff you can do with a looper as per normal. So I hope that, um, oh, come on. Let's chuck on another track. So we got some tracks, we did all our stuff, we're back into play mode, now we can do all the cool stuff, you know, like we can actually reverse it, all the stuff you can do with the looper, that's not what this is about. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, I hope it works, uh, I mean the video works, because <laughs> I've tried this a few times. And stick around, uh, this channel I'm going to do more stuff about using computers for ambient performance. and. Uh, play some music as well every once in a while. See you later. <laughs>